While we wait for my lazy ass to finish the last video on the mission we sent Steve on, let's talk about a more general concept. I don't think there's an official or widespread term, so I'll be referring to it as characteristic deviation. Characteristics hereby refer to the basic values that define characters in basically all tabletop role-playing games and which are literally called characteristics in Mythic. Deviation describes the action of doing something that is different from the usual or common way of behaving in case the Cambridge Dictionary is anything to go by. So how do these two terms relate? When you roll for skills or their respective equivalent, for the most part you use some combination of one characteristic and a modifier associated with your character's knowledge and experience in certain subjects. In 5th edition, that is your proficiency or expertise. In mythic, they are your skills and educations and so on. Usually, one certain characteristic is associated with a particular skill, but it doesn't have to be. That's what I want to talk about today. I'll take you through a couple of examples, so lay back while I paint a scene. Shrapnel flies across the room. A gunshot on the other side. Mere moments later, more debris, a second bang. Damn, these negotiations were supposed to be way less. Dwayne's joke is interrupted by his screaming as a bullet pierces his armor and embeds itself in his abdomen. Ugh, ten millimeter jacket at a hollow point. I haven't felt that in a while. Blood drips to the floor, no bandages in sight, and no bullets left. Another shot barely misses his head as it breaks through a weaker part of the table he's hiding behind. He lobs the gun into the middle of the room as his last way out of this mess. Larry approaches. Look at you, like a beaten puppy lying on the floor in the pool of your own blood and tears. You should have just given me the case. Dwayne stares him down pulls the pin on a grenade, grasping it with a last ounce of strength. Piss off now, or both of us won't make it. This situation quite obviously calls for an intimidation role. As always, when it comes to talking in a non-military context, he should be allowed to use his charisma. Our protagonist, however, is not much of a smooth talker with his charisma score of 20, and there might be some Gerald Hanai who are more classically charismatic. So let me cite from the book real quick. Intimidation. Basic. Intimidation is one of the few special skills that can use many characteristics. Players can use strength, charisma, leadership and intellect to force and scare their opponent to give in to demands. Intimidation is an opposed test. The opponent uses the same set of characteristics to oppose the test. A character must not choose the highest characteristic to use the intimidation. The characteristic used must fit the situation that the intimidation is being used in. The book allows for the use of strength, intellect, charisma and leadership. It also advises to use the most fitting characteristic in the specific situation. Since this intimidation depends on powering through the pain though, we're going to deviate from the suggested characteristic and all comes full circle. This time, the characteristic Dwayne's player will be rolling for will be his toughness of 55. We still apply his modifiers as normal, his plus 10 to intimidation. Dwayne's player is happy because he is rolling for a much higher value. The situation tenses up more because now there is actually a realistic chance to succeed and is at least just as fitting for the situation. There are a lot of cases like this and the book accounts for a lot. Investigation for example is either intellect if you're examining an object or it's perception if you're actively searching the surroundings. I got two more things I want to bring up. Firstly, I noticed that there is no support for any sort of characteristic deviation built into the Roll20 character sheet and I would love to see a drop down menu to swap through at least those characteristics that the book deems appropriate. So whoever makes those, thank you, but that's something I'd really enjoy seeing added. Secondly, way more important because it's something that concerns all playing groups. I encourage DMs and players to work together on this part. If either one comes up with a reason why deviating would be appropriate here, take up on that and discuss it in short if necessary. Even though the DM has the last say in this matter, don't just dismiss such remarks. On the other hand, I don't want to see any players sad because the DM asks them to roll on a different characteristic they deem more fitting for the current situation. If you describe in proper detail the way in which you try to accomplish something, such situations usually shouldn't arise. 
Now that I can barely hold off on ranting about players not getting into character and into the situation, I will sign off. I hope I've brought your horizon a little and not caused too much time to be wasted on discussion. Now get back out there and put your newfound knowledge to use. Dismissed.